Welcome everybody to Samsung KX, the home of innovation. Today we have an amazing live masterclass about lifestyle televisions. Yes. But before we start, there are three things that I want you guys to bear in mind. First of all, make sure you have your snacks and your drinks ready, because it's going to be fun. Two, if you have any questions, write them down in the chat below. And finally, just relax and enjoy. Yeah, have a good time. Let's introduce ourselves, shall we? Yeah. So my name is Freddy. My name is Michael. I go by salt. And I go by pepper. And we are your Samsung people for today. Yeah. So, lifestyle TVs. Lifestyle TVs. Let's have a little bit of history. Not too long, I promise. Just in about TVs in the last, let's say, 20 years or so. So, around the 2000, 2010, TVs were all about showing off. Let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest. The bigger the TV, the better the TV in those yep. days. The bigger the TV, the more friends you would have. Yeah. Apparently <laughs> so. Apparently so. So, it was all about getting the biggest TV you can get and just watching content, which is really good. But things have changed slightly lately, haven't they? Yes, things have changed quite, quite ever so slightly. TVs are now not just to show our friends and family, but it's actually to represent who we are as people. It sounds quite deep, but let me get into it a little bit more. TVs now need to blend into your surroundings or be a showcase or a statement piece as we have over here. Yeah, they need to show who I am as a person or as an artist. Yes, and they need to seamlessly and effortlessly blend in with your background. So that's why we have three TVs that we're going to talk about today. We're going to firstly talk about the frame, followed by the serif, and finally, newly announced, zero. Yes, when we look at zero TV. Yeah. So let's start with the frame. Yes, let's go. Let's go. So what you see right here is the amazing frame TV, which means that when it's on, it's a beautiful TV, but the moment it turns off, it's an art piece that you could see in a gallery. Not only that, but because it's so amazing, you have different things that you can do with it to make it look just like a painting. Yeah. Now, no longer you have to look at a big black rectangle in your living room. Now, it's a lot more. First of all, you have the art store. Now, with the art store, you have over 1,400 different art pieces from galleries around the world, which means that if you're lucky, you could probably have the same art piece that the Queen has in one of her palaces. That's a flex right there. Very big flex. Now, we do have different things that you can buy the art from. So for example, different galleries like the Royal Collection. Again, we have Tate and the VA. And all of that is building into the TV or the frame, I would like to say. So feel free to select your best piece of art. But again, we have more than yes. just that. There are a lot more. Again, you can add your own pictures or your own through my collection. So it's really easy to use. You can either do it through SmartThings, a free app, or you can plug it into a USB. So it's really, really easy, really straightforward to use. But Freddie is a fine artist. I'm not biased at all. And he can actually put his own images on there. Do you want to talk about that, Freddie? Yeah. So what you can see right here is that within my collection, you have a series of drawings and paintings I've done myself. So I like to call that the Robin. Um, and again, it is a p p painting that I made myself, actually. And that was from a robins that I used to nest in my garden. And again, it's quite nice. But the great thing about the frame is that because it has a 100% color volume, they're going to look fantastic, just like the artist intended. And in this case, the artist, let me not brag, who it was me? It was him. It was him, guys. So it's very, very nice. Not just that, but we do have Ambient Mode Plus. And Ambient Mode Plus is actually really nice. So I have a QLED TV at home, so I use it all the time. And it just allows you to set the mood, whatever you're into, whether it's maybe some fancy clocks or the mountains. That's my favorite. So in the mornings, it will play some nice birds, something to keep you happy, Freddie. Yep. And in the evenings, it will mellow everything out and help you find your zen with some nice mountains and just some little crickets here and there. Basically, I can relax. You can relax. You can relax. It's very, very nice. Um, again, one of the great things about the part of my collection is that you can actually change the mount. So, for example, if you are inclined to have it a bit more 3D or you want to change the color, it will look just like a painting does right on your wall. I like that one. It's a nice Great choice. choice. Great good, color. good choice, isn't it? Good choice. And there you go. Now it has a beautiful mount that you can change the color and make it adapt to how you decorate your house or your living room. Yeah. Now we have something that we like to talk about and that, you know, I mentioned mount. Well, it does have a wall mount. Yeah. But it's no gap wall mount. Yes. What that means is that it sits flush against the wall, just like a painting would in our gallery. 
Yeah, so another thing to trick your guests or yourself even to thinking that this is actually a real life painting, which is really cool, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really cool. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, how hard is it to install? Yes. Well, all you have to do is ask your best friend or someone that's willing to help you to join you because you will just need an extra pair of hands and it will take 10 minutes to put together. Now, for Michael and myself, it probably takes 25 because they're going to be a lot of to me to you moments, yes. as you may expect. However, the, wall, the no gap wall mount is actually included in your package yeah. when it comes with the TV. Yeah, and you can even have feet on it as well if you wish. So it's really, 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 really good. Yeah. Really nice. And then we have other features. Yes, this is a fully fledged smart TV, of course. So you do get an abundance of applications that you can use. And as you guys have been seeing, I've been using my phone through smart things to control my lovely frame over here. So if you're like me and you're always losing your remote, you can just pick up your phone and control it. Well, you can see how many smart applications we've got. We've got Netflix, we've got Prime Video, we've got ITV Hub, BBC iPlayer. BBC iPlayer, some great stuff on there. The list goes on. And of course, you've got your smart things, as you guys can see. So if you want to control your smart appliances or your smart devices from the comfort and the warmth of your sofa, you are inclined to do so because you have smart things. So it's really easy to use. Yeah. And if you're a bit like me, that's constantly changing the decor of their living room, and then doesn't know what colors go together or if the colors will look to great at the end, yes. we have something for you. We do, we have the bezels. Now this is another tool in our arsenal to make it a little bit, just that little bit harder to distinguish whether it's actually a TV or a picture frame. We have both because with these customizable bezels, if Freddie was changing his curtains and then he had his TV and he's like, actually um, it clashes or it doesn't look good, he could change the bezels. What color would you go for? Beige. Beige. I like the sound of beige. He likes the sound of beige. <laughs> beige for me, I'm not too sure, but I'm sure it looked nice in his house. And again, if he changed his curtain to beige and his TV was near his curtains, he could change it as simply as that. So it's really easy to use. And again, guys, if you have any questions, write them in the chat below where we'll try to answer as many of them as we can. Now, if you are a bit like Michael here that can't drill, drill holes in his wall because he's constantly moving from place to place, so he doesn't want to drill holes in his wall, basically. Yeah, well, I can't draw holes in my wall. Not only you can mount it on the wall, but actually it comes with amazing, you can get a studio stand for it, which will mean that will look like a painting on an easel. Yes, it's very, very nice, very stylish. It adds a lot of drama to your room. And in, let's talk about cables, because cables are very important. If you are struggling with your cables, you're like, actually, this looks really nice, but how do I really get it to like a picture frame? We've got a cable solution for you. And that is the One Connect box. Here is one that I made earlier, as you guys can see. So it's really kind of tiny. It's really honestly not that big. Yeah. And this is something that you can stash away. And what this One Connect box allows you to do with the near invisible cable is plug all your different peripherals, such as your satellite TV or your gaming system into your TV without having to plug it directly in and having all those nasty cables hanging out. Yeah, so basically cable manage on point. It's really nice, isn't it? And you, again, you can add loads of different things and loads of other peripherals on here and it's really easy to use. And I just like the ability to be able to move it five meters away. So yeah. regardless of where you will have your TV, you can sort of hide it wherever you feel fit. Yeah, we all know someone with an awkward TV stand, five meters should be enough for you to move yeah. it around. And then, so that was the frame. Yes. However, we have something special next. Yes, now we have our lovely Serif TV. Now our lovely Serif TV is unconditionally beautiful, of course. And here we have it over here. Now. This lovely TV has been designed by the Berlick brothers, the same people that brought you the Serif font. So it's a very, very nice and stylish looking TV. Yeah, and the best thing about it is that regardless of where you look at it, from any angle, it looks beautiful. That's because it's been designed with 3D, 60 degree sort of look and feel to it. So everything has been taken care of. So from the back to the front, it looks fantastic. Yeah, you don't really think about it. When you're looking at your TV, obviously you look at the TV screen itself. You don't look behind it, but this, as Freddie was saying, you can see at any angle, which is really nice. Now, something that you guys may have noticed is that it's got some legs on it as well. Now, these legs are something that you don't tend to see. It's a lovely, elegant floor stand. Yeah. And again, you have options. So if you want to have it on these beautiful legs, you're welcome to. If not, of course, you can put it on a lovely shelf. Yeah, which looks amazing. Not only can you have it as a statement piece in your living room, but you can actually tuck it away on a shelf to make it look just that bit more exciting. I that, just that little bit more exciting. And for me, I've got an amazing feature for you. I use this feature quite a lot, and that is multi-view. 
Now, if you're like me and you're into multitasking, multi-view is a killer feature. So you're able to, let's say, play Xbox and you're able to watch a live stream by pairing your phone to your TV and having both at the same time. So yeah. it's really, really cool. Especially with now people playing cyberpunk. Yes. You know, try to get through the levels. Yeah. Again, nice and easy. Put it up on one side while you play your favorite game. There you go. Really, really easy to use. And it's, it's just a great feature if you think about it. You can even decide where the sound comes out from. So it's really, really yeah. cool. And again, it's a QLED TV, which means that the picture is going to be beautiful and you don't have to worry about burning. Yes. And if you're watching content that isn't necessarily 4K, you can still enjoy 4K content because it has AI upscaling, which means that even if you're watching, let's say, 1080p content, it's going to look up to 4K, which is really nice. Yeah. And again, two important things, especially when it comes about how you decorate your home is the colors. Well, it comes in two beautiful colors, cotton white and cotton blue. Now, the cotton blue is a bit like my shirt. It's the one that we have right here. Again, it's a bit of like a bluish grayish, which is nice. It's really, really nice, especially the lighting um, in sort of light conditions. It just looks really nice. It just, you, got, you guys got to come see it. Got to see it. Please let us know which one of the two is your favorite, the serif or the frame. Let us know. And again, the next one that we're going to be talking about is one of your favorite, you'd say? Yes, you could always say that it's very revolutionary. And you'll see why I said that word in a couple of minutes. Now, we're going to talk about the Cero, and we're going to head over to Lacey, who will be talking more about it in just a second. Yeah. Hey guys, my name is Lacey and I'm here with Freddie today. I just teleported guys, what can I say? And then we're going to talk about the Cero TV. So let's start with one of my favourite features, mobile mirroring. Freddie, do you like embarrassing your friends and family? All the time, especially Michael. Awesome, so with this TV you can connect your smart device and display any images and videos from your phone and embarrass all your friends and family. Yeah, especially now that Christmas is coming, it's around the corner, you know, everybody eating, everybody with those bright jumpers. Great way to sort of embarrass them, as you say. Exactly, and you can even display any of your social media on the TV as well. Now, you mentioned embarrassing people. Well, what about your favourite music video? What would you say that is, your favourite band? Little Mix. Little Mix? Okay. Do you like to dance along with the music video? Sometimes. Sometimes? I'm glad you said that. The reason why is because the Zero has 4.1 channel, 60 watt speakers, which means that regardless if you're watching the music video or dancing along, it's gonna sound fantastic. Now, there's another feature I want to talk about. So, you said that you mirrored your favorite sort of social media app and also embarrassing pictures, right? Yes. And people now tend to sort of take a lot of pictures and videos in portrait, around the landscape, which used to be the usual way of doing it. Well, the Zero is just for you, if that's the case. Because, for example, my BTS edition S20 Plus is right here. It's actually mirroring to the Cero. Now, I'm going to go into YouTube. I'm going to watch one of my favorite things I like watching. And that is basically Michael and myself. You know, why not? Now, it is important right now. I can go and see the comments. I can swipe to different videos. However, this is where it comes to life. It's as easy as, for example, me rotating my phone and as I do that there you have it it's pretty cool right I think so Ooh, is that me <laughs> ah, nice. Nice. so Freddie you mentioned portrait yeah the Cero TV has portrait mode which means you can display any screensavers of your choice on the TV with important information like the time and date what about the weather and the weather well, it's probably going to be rainy every single day, isn't it? Especially here in the UK. Probably. Now let's move on to AVA, Active Voice Amplifier. So, Freddie, how annoying is it when you're watching one of your favourite TV programmes and then someone comes in and hoovers? All right. A, a bit like that, basically. A bit like that. Well, with the Cero TV, you can actually list, keep listening to your favourite TV shows without any problem. So the TV will know, will know that there is extra sound around the room and then we'll change its volume so that you don't miss anything out. Wait, so you're telling me not even the juicy moments of Love Island? Not even the juicy moments. Ah, nice, nice. I see what you did there. Nice, I like that. Now, it does have that AVA that you talked about. We also have adaptive image. What that means is that regardless if it's too dark or quite bright, 
the image will actually, that TV itself will adapt and make it brighter or darker depending on the scene, which is amazing. And now, this is one of my favorite features. How often have you started your party in your living room and then you realize that everybody just seems to be going to the kitchen and opening your fridge and, you know, getting all the drinks and then they seem to congregate in the kitchen while you're in the living room? Every time. Well, you can actually get little wheels that you can put onto the zero that you can take it with you and make sure you can roll it over to the kitchen, which means that you can follow the party where it's at. That's perfect. Well, thank you for listening to us today about the Cerro TV. Now we're going to move on to Michael, who's talking about the soundbars. Oh, Michael. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back. Now let's talk about sound. Before, you do the buy a soundbar, and it'll be sounding really good, but it didn't necessarily look the best. And Freddie's back. Welcome back, Freddie. Hello. Back. I tried to teleport, but I guess I wasn't fast enough. Whew. There we go. Uh, but as I was saying, you used to buy soundbars and they sounded really good, but it didn't necessarily fit into the aesthetic that yep. you're going for in your house. Now, Samsung have released our lovely S-Series sounds bar, which sounds as beautiful as they look. They look beautiful. I'm they do look really nice, don't they? Yeah. Now, let's talk about design. It's actually wrapped in a lovely cover wrapped material, which actually helps with the sound passing through it. So it's not just nice and it doesn't just feel nice and look premium, but it also helps with the sound, which is really good. Yeah, it's almost like a fabric. It's almost like my shirt. I mean, everything feels like my shirt nowadays, isn't it? I think Freddie's got a thing for shirts. Especially um, this colour. But it's really nice, especially with music, Freddie. Yeah, again, music mode, it makes the sound, especially if you listen to music quite a lot, it makes it just like the artist intended. Nice and punchy, deep bass when it needs to be, not over modding of the sounds. Great. It's really nice. And if you want to share sound, it's as easy as tapping and sharing. So all you've got to do is turn it on, of course, and then tap mm -hmm. it. And then, of course, it will pair really seamlessly and really easily. That's it? Is that all you had to do? That's all I had to do. Literally. So what are we listening to today? So I think we should queue up some Blackpink. I like to switch between Blackpink and some BTS from time to time. OK. Woo! Can you hear the bass? The bass is good. The bass is good. It's amazing. OK, we need, we need to start while we we'll start. start we'll, save, we'll save it for later. We'll save it for later. <laughs> but they are really, really nice sound bars. Yeah, and not only that, but how often do you feel like when you buy a soundbar, you need to get a subwoofer and then you have to figure out where you're going to have it. Are you going to put it behind the sofa? Are you going to try to hide it? Where does the cable go? Are you rolling it underneath the carpet, through the skirting boards? There's a lot of things that you have to think about. Yeah. Well, with these amazing soundbars, they're both in one. So the tweeters and the woofers are all in one beautiful package that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. And if you're into watching films or other content, we do have acoustic beam technology. That paired with our lovely sign hall gives nice, rich, immersive sound, which is really nice. Yeah, so those are some great features of the soundbar. So we have gone over some amazing things. Yeah. The frame. The frame, so we spoke about the lovely bezels that we have, including art modes, having the same paintings as the queen herself. No gap wall mount? Yes, we That's went through the no gap wall mount as well. So being able to have your frame TV flush against the wall, just adding to the aesthetic. The serif? Serif, lovely, very, very, very different TV. Um, a lovely TV in its own right with different features such as multi-view, of course, and you've got the lovely elegant floor stand. For me, it's all about that 360 design. Being yes. able to look at it from every angle and it just looks perfect. It's very, very nice. And of course, our lovely Sarah with Freddy. Yeah, which we talked with um, Lacey and we discover how amazing it is not to only screen mirror your favorite social media up to the zero, but actually that rotating functionality, amazing. It's so different, From isn't it? portrait to landscape. It's just, just very, very cool feature. Very, very different and cool feature. Yeah, and then the amazing soundbars. And our lovely soundbars over here. Of course, we've got the cavret material up and on the edge, and we've got really, really nice immersive sound from the acoustic beam and side horns. So, so really that was nice. a lot of things that we cover, right? Yes. So let's go and check some of the questions that yes, let's our viewers might that. ask. So, so if you have any questions, let us know now. Let's see. And hopefully they'll pop through. We have Asana saying nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got Matt, I can't decide, maybe the frame. It's a very, very hard decision to make, but hopefully you might get two for Christmas. Who knows, who knows? Oh, yeah, a lot of people like the frame. There's a lot of sort of frame kind of um, conversations here, which is great. We've got Jasmine in the chat. Wow, that's, co that's cool. Thank you for joining us today, Jasmine. Also got Gigi Camera. She likes the serif. Thank you very much. It's a very nice color, isn't it? Very, very nice color. Yeah, there's some great questions going on here. Yes. And so that was quite a lot of the questions and a lot of things. Now, if you do decide to buy any of these amazing 
televisions, do head over to Samsung.com where you'll get some amazing deals. Like for example, 0% finance. Yes, actually let's talk about pricing a little bit. So we have, of course we need to talk about pricing, don't we? So we have our lovely Frame TV. Now for a 55 inch, you're looking at about 1,299 pounds. Mm -hmm. And again, you can get this on finance if you wish with 0% finance options available. Um, of course, we have different sizes. So let's say the massive size. So let's say the 75 inch, if you're really trying to go all out, Ooh, that is you around, have you have to, right? You have to, you just have to treat yourself. That is around 2,299 pounds. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. And of course, I know there are some, a lot of questions about the Sarah TV, so I'll let you guys know now. So the Sarah TV at the moment is £1,299 in a 43 inch. Really, really nice, isn't it? Yeah. There are some good questions, good interaction, guys. Thank you for today. But it's time that we do a quick sign off. Yes. So my name is Michael. My name is Freddie. My name's Lacey. Hello, Lacey. Hello, Lacey. And thank you for coming to our live masterclass today. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Okay.